Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Wherever you are, remember you have greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another Ab Daily News with the hockey coach, Guru Coach Frenchy. Today, episode number 407. What a minute, coach. First of all, guys, we're going to talk about the Montreal Canadian final roster for the upcoming season. And finally, we have a new winner of the main camp for the Montreal Canadian. But before we start, we invite you, please don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the Hockey Nation Live show, and of course, leave us a comment about this episode. And let's dive in talking about my first subject of the day. My first subject of the day is about the Montreal Canadian news, and we want to talk about the final roster for the Montreal Canadian. Can news announce today, Joel Amia and Gustav Lindstrom did not claim by any other team in NHL. Both players have to go now with the Laval Rocket for the upcoming season. Meanwhile, during the day, can news announce that they sent three players loaned to the American Hockey League. First, Matthias Nalander, Emil Eneman, and Albert Jakai. What? Jakai? What's going on here? Calm down. This is only a formality to be under the salary cap. This guy is only about the salary cap, the situation with Abel Jekai tomorrow is going to be recalled for the Laval Rocket when they're going to make other movement for the roster before the beginning of the season when they play against Toronto Maple Leaf. If you look a bit more deeper about the roster, Montreal Canadien has now 14 forward, 6 defensemen, 3 goaltender for the final roster. My next news of the day is about the line created by the head coach Martin Saint-Louis. First, guys, Josh Anderson won the audition of the first line. He's going to play beside Nick Zuzuki and Cole Caulfield. We don't have any chance for the second line, but Juraj Sarkeski started the season on the top six with the Montreal Canadiens beside Kirby Dock and Alex Newhook. Finally, the third line, I call that line out the slow-mo line, the slow-motion line, because they are triple with no speed, Brendan Gallagher, Sean Monahan, and Tanner Pearson. And finally, the four line is Jake Evans with Jesse Allen and Raphael Harvey Pinal. The extra forward, Michael Pesera. For the defenseman, we have Savard with Madison, Cooley with Kovacevic, Harris with Jakai. And the seventh defenseman, it was Justin Barron. We have three goaltenders, Primo, Allen, and Montembo. The only change we have on the special team power play, because Nolander left the team, they use Arbor Jekai on the unit number two for the power play. We know Jekai scored two of his five goals last season with the Montreal Canadien. My next news of the day is about the head coach Martin St. Louis press conference. A little bit of resume. He said this line are going to be fluid and they are not as the cement. So expect some point modification by the head coach Martin St. Louis about the line. Secondly, he said, don't be surprised if Joel Amia he will be back with the team. He concerned Amia played its front role with the Montreal Canadian. He said about Amia, he played a specific chair with the Montreal Canadian and because the salary cap in other business uh, hockey. This season have to be loaned to the Laval Rocket and possible he expect at some point Joel Amia to be called up to play with the Montreal Canadiens. Finally, he need to make a plan with three goaltenders. He said, I don't know yet what's the plan, but we need to figure out. And hopefully it's going to be a short term what I expect from the Montreal Canadiens. They're not going to keep three goaltenders for many weeks. And this is what all about the Martin St. Louis press conference yesterday. And finally... We want to finish all the Montreal Canadian news with the Montreal Canadian prospect. And I want to talk about, uh, of course, Lane Hudson. Already, guys, first week in NCA on the Hockey East Division. Lane Hudson, player of the week. Uh, Hudson scored the game-winning goal uh, against Bentley Friday night uh, and over time to give the Boston University the first W of the year with a score of 3-2. to two. Hudson take advantage of the power play 4 versus 3 during the overtime game to score a great ball down goal against the goaltender Bankley and gave the W for his Boston University. This gave us, guys, all the news we have 
for this episode. I would like to hear from you. Leave me a comment, uh, maybe about the roster final for the Montreal Canadiens. Are you happy or not? Uh, then about the lines that uh, Martin Saint Louis used today, and then. Uh, Of course, Martin Saint Louis press conference, or what do you think about Lane Hudson? And that's conclude all the news, and let's move on for my second subject of the day. My second subject of the day is about the winner of the main cam. It's not a player's, it's the general manager can use. What? What are you talking about again, coach? First of all, guys, he's a winner. Why? Because his salary cap is under $83.5 million, is exactly a bit over $83 million. $336,000. This is a great, great deal for the Montreal Canadiens. Why? Because with that, Carey Price, guys, does not start on the long term, but only on the ER with the Chris Whiteman. Only Christian Devorak is on the long term injury reserve. And the fact like Jekai went to Laval and they keep Armia in the roster for only one day, that gave that chance for Ken Hughes to get that recap under at $83.336,000 was the point behind that. But that gave him now more flexibility to add any player to make better trade and to get possible asset because they have approximately $10 million to play now for the upcoming season. The next move now for the Kenyans would be figure out what's going to happen with the three goaltender situation with the Montreal Canadiens. Don't be shocked and don't be surprised. This situation, goaltender, is not going to be for long term, only a short term. So the winner, guys, of the main game for me is, again, Ken Hughes did it, put the Montreal Canadiens approximately at $83 million, $336,000. Great, great move for the hockey operation business side of the game. And that's concluded, guys, all the subject we have on this episode. Thanks to watching another Ab Daily News with the Hockey Coach Guru Code Friendship. But before we leave, guys, we invite you, please don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the Hockey Nation Live Show, leave us a comment about this episode. And of course, we want to remind you, you have greatness inside of you, and we wish you an amazing, great, blessed day, everybody. Mm -hmm.